And the winner for best sound at the Academy Awards goes to Sound of Metal. Just getting you ready for when that happens. Hello everybody, welcome to Film Fireside. Sound of Metal is on Amazon Prime. It follows the story of Ruben, who is a drummer for him and his girlfriend's band. And because of the type of music they play, which is heavy metal and very loud, loud music, he begins to lose his hearing. Or at least we assume that's why anyway. It's heavily implied that is the case. Uh, I guess it could have been um, autoimmune disease, but you know, whatever, they don't really go into details there, because that's not the point. I like just got done watching this for my second time, and I, I gotta say about the films being nominated this year, this is actually, I was kind of expecting 2020, or this award season to be with kind of like meh movies, but this may be like the one year in a while where I like actually enjoy everything nominated for Best Picture. I genuinely love all of these movies. I just think they're so good. They're such good quality. I, I it's a great selection this year of Best Picture films. And that totally applies to The Sound of Metal. The reason I mentioned the thing about the Best Picture nominees before is because I've said this about a lot of them. A lot of these pictures, they're unique. They are unique films. And I am saying that exact same thing about The Sound of Metal. It is unlike anything I had ever seen before. Its use of sound, obviously, is the most, most praised thing for this. It's so intentional, it's done so well. I think this film had a danger of being strictly conceptual because it's a really great concept to allow us to hear the things perhaps he is hearing as he's losing his hearing in his ear, but it's intentional with its concept. If it was strictly conceptual, perhaps we could have just been stagnant for, uh, for a big chunk of this film. So I, I really, really love the use of sound in this film. It's done oh so well. Riz Ahmed is an astounding actor. He is insanely good. Totally deserved his Best Actor nomination. I was happily surprised when I heard he was being considered uh, amongst, amongst other awards because when I heard he was being considered, I was like, yes, he totally deserves it. Like his performance is insane. It's insanely good. And this film, like I say, it could have been just conceptual. It's not just conceptual. The concept serves its story and it's very intentionally used within that because it, there's not just amazing sound to experience in this film. This is a visual masterpiece as well. And the script writing of this is just mm, very on point. Darius Rodder, uh, is that how you say his name? Darius? Hey, Kelsey. Can, you, can I borrow your phone real quick? I forgot the director's last name. <laughs> It's my life. Yes. <laughs> sound of music? No, why would I care about sound of music? <laughs> when we were talking about it earlier, you said the sound of music. You were like, I feel like the sound of music was way better than this. And I was like, I, knew, I, really? you, I know you meant sound of metal. <laughs> so I didn't say anything. But I was like, <laughs> Darius Martyr. Okay, why did I? I was trying to say his name is like Radar. Radar. Darius Radar. Radar from I MASH. No, I know it's not. I'm stupid. <laughs> Darius Martyr, if you know his career, his. Other film that he's famously known for is a film called The Place Beyond the Pines. It's a little less known, but it's so, that one is really, really good. And I didn't realize that till I'd already watched the film and it made total sense afterwards. I was like, oh, okay. He has a very great style of directing. I think, I, I actually, I didn't include him in my director snubs for my snubs video, but yeah, Darius Martyr was also snubbed for a director. I also need to correct something I had said before. I was under the impression Paul Racy was a partially deaf actor. From what I'm reading though, maybe he's not. He's just raised in a deaf family and very heavily participates in deaf theater, does plays and ASL frequently. So American Sign Language is something really big, a big part of his life and a big part of his acting career as well. And so it was so amazing that he landed this part and is nominated for Best Supporting Actor because he, he totally serves this film and elevates this film in amazing ways. His character is so good and, oh yeah, it's great. It's a great film, really, really great film. Watching it a second time, there is a lot more about maybe the point that I was getting a little more. It's only two hours, but it's a still a slow-ish film, I suppose. I would say there are a few scenes in the third act that tend to linger, maybe a little longer than they needed to. There's the end end scene, for those of you who've seen it already, that one I think was the perfect amount of time. I'm not referring to that one at all. But like the beginning part of the third act, a few scenes just kind of 
took a longer time than I think that they needed to, to maybe move along and get to the next thing. And yeah, that's that's maybe my one complaint of the film, is I feel like the third act kind of hits a little wall and it kind of dips just for a little bit, but then it picks right back up again at the end end scene. And you know, it's, it's great. And even watching it the second time, there is meaning and there's value in it doing that. So there's things to appreciate about it still, regardless of the fact that it does that. My score of Sound of Metal, I give it a nine out of 10. Wow. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out Sound of Metal on Amazon Prime. It is streaming there. If you've already seen Sound of Metal, let me know your thoughts on the film. Start a discussion with me in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Sound of Metal. Moving forward, I'm doing something fun. I kind of mentioned this, or did I mention it? I don't know. I think I mentioned it recording another video, but I may have edited it out. Edited it out. That's a weird. I may have cut it out. That's probably a better way to say it. I love the Academy Awards. I think they're great. My opinion, when you get a nomination, you've basically won. You know what I mean? George C. Scott, uh, he was nominated, or he was nominated and won for his role in the film Patton in 1970, I believe. He refused to attend the awards ceremony because he did not agree or want to support an institution that pit artists against each other. I actually value that a lot. I value that because I, th I think if the Academy Awards are viewed as a competition, then I think you are grossly missing what it is about. It's about, I think it's about film appreciation. I'm much more about appreciating films. I, I'd much prefer to appreciate and find good in a film. And I feel like the Academy Awards are about that. So for the next little bit in respects to film appreciation, I will be doing a series called Why It Should Win. I'll be taking a look at each picture that's nominated for best picture and I'll be giving solid arguments for why each and every one of these films should win at the Academy Awards. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that. We're going to take a fun dive into these films and really get into the nitty gritty and analyze these films because I think they're, all these films this year are definitely worth analyzing. Like I said, this is the first year in a long time that I've really liked all the films nominated for best picture and that's awesome. I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Bye-bye.